Oh, God. Speaking of uh, cops doing dumbass arbitrary things to assert power, this fucking guy in Florida just decides to ban deputies from wearing oh, masks the sheriff? on the job. Yeah, not like, just the I, fucking who, guy. Yeah, who in their fucking right mind thinks it's a good idea in Virtue Florida? Virtue signaling. Other than this, this... Like, I'm so pro-Trump, not <sighs> only... Will I not require masks? I'm going to ban them completely. Vote for me this November. Uh, fucking god damn it. feel like um, not only well, uh, anti-uppings should not be part of politics. It's kind of cartoonish. Yeah, it's so... Uh... He thinks he's, he think this guy fucking thinks he's being so fucking cool, so rebellious, too. Like, you know, he had a shit eating grin on his face when he said that shit. Sheriff mm -hmm. Woods said he was fully aware of the controversy. Totally not just trying to uh, fill the void that uh, Sheriff Joe Arpaio left in all of our farts. Oh God! Thanks for reminding me uh, that that dumbass lost his 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 election. You know he's running oh, again this nice. year, I believe. That's nice to think about. Yeah, he's Arpaio. still trying he to take it back. Well, he needs to stay away. The fact that that man isn't in fucking jail is a testament to how fucked up. Yeah. Or, yeah. Like. Not even just on the weird pedophile. Wait, no, I'm thinking he wasn't the pedophile. Joe Parra was the racist guy. Never mind. I was thinking the other guy. Yeah, the other southern yeah. fucker, fucker. Racist and vaguely yeah. homophobic because he'd make people wear pink to dehumanize them. But still, yeah. Just based on like how he treated prisoners in general. Like, yeah. He should be in fucking jail. Oh, no, he literally should. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, unlike uh, most of the prisoners in his uh, custody, because it was a county jail, he was duly convicted of multiple federal crimes and pardoned. Yeah, that's right. I was, gonna, I was getting ready to say that, too. Yeah, he, he, he got pardoned, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he should uh, literally be signaling for the base. More uh, red meat for that base. Say what you know about Trump, but Basically. unlike the Basically. demon rats, uh, he actually delivers. All Biden does is deliver yeah, attempts at well. losing the election, which, to be fair, yeah. in this case, is the right thing to do. He's trying to do the opposite of what this sheriff is doing. Well, hey, we got more meat here where uh, AOC's trying to bait, bait Trump by saying, uh, you know, whoever releases college transcripts first... You know, gets to fund the, the post office. I actually have mixed feelings about it because this is just kind of. This seems like such a fucking like liberal Democrat type thing to like a fuck. It seems like a Hillary thing to fucking do. Like I, I know he's doing this just to get yeah. to like get attention <laughs> and like whatever because. That's one of her things, but fuck it. Like, I fucking hate this shit so goddamn much. Like, it doesn't actually matter. Because it doesn't yeah. do anything. Like, yeah. It just makes it just makes liberals feel yeah. good. Well, like, yeah, you been, tell them, girl. Like and then nothing actually trying fucking to, like, happens. Use those people to get more attention to the leftist movement. And I think she's severely misguided in thinking that. It, and I think she's making a similar mistake that Bernie's made, where she thinks like if she gets in and gets fr and yeah. becomes friendly with them and gets attention, that they're going to start paying attention to their left her leftist causes. And you don't understand is once you flip that leftist switch, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna switch the camera off you. They don't fucking give a shit. Like, I mean, they they swept Bernie under, under the rug mm -hmm. twice in the election and. He still fucking is cucked to the Democratic Party, and I, this is that same shit. Like she's trying to get attention by doing this, get the fucking K Hive crowd and the Yas Queen crowd. Like, yeah, she totally fucking owned Trump, and might as well just leave office now, yeah. And then fucking, it, yeah, it turns out it doesn't actually do anything. 
but she's trying to get their attention and they don't fucking care about like policy or helping like or helping the disadvantaged that literally what she's doing right now is all they care about and yeah. As we've seen, like the Democratic hey, Party is, is isn't 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 concerned with really beating Trump. It's keeping the status quo. Like if they really cared about beating Trump, like they say, they would they wouldn't be trying to sabotage and use DNC funds to fucking run against leftist candidates. Why isn't that money that you're using to run against Ilan Omar? And fucking Rashida Tlaib and AOC going towards fighting Trump, you pieces of shit. Biden just keeps trying to lose. I mean, this is a good measure. I'm not against what he's saying, but it's um like I don't know if he timed it because of that sheriff or if this was just a coincidence or what, but it's like there's no sure way to turn off apparently a good forty to fifty percent of the country and to tell them ahead of time that you're going to initiate a mask mandate because now every fucktard in America is going to go, see, see, we told you, we told you. Even though we should have had fucking people on the streets enforcing fucking quarantine from the get-go, like, you know, guns fucking loaded like China because then we'd fucking be done with this shit like New Zealand and other countries are. Did it right. Well, now, now, New Zealand's coming back around from from more cases. So, see, it doesn't matter. Thank you, really? Herd immunity. New Zealand's get it has has got a, a handful of new cases now. Yeah. Hmm. I'd heard they went like 100 days without a single fucking case. Did some fucking tourists come in and spread it? So, as of an hour ago, according to NPR, after more than three months without any known community spread, a new outbreak in Auckland has upset the fact that they had managed to fucking get over it. So they've got at least 30 active cases that they're aware of. And they haven't contact traced it back. That's not good. Possibly a cold storage facility of the U.S.-based company called America. Oh, man. So they... And it could have spread huh. via freight. I saw. If, that's why but, I said the tourist thing. I'm like, I bet it was out of fucking country. Yep, and from America too, of all places. Oh yeah. Yep. No wonder other countries are banning Americans Shocker. from traveling there because we can't help but export our plague worldwide without even trying. Pretty much. We're just God. giving you the gift. Join us. The gift, yeah. Man, don't worry about it, man. Everybody's going to get it eventually. You just got to stop worrying and embrace it. Don't you know? Yeah. <laughs> just get that herd immunity, Trust bro. Me. Once you get catch it, immunity. everything changes. Everything's better once you get it Whatever. over with. Come join us. Embrace the inevitable. Oh, Become a COVID idiot. Yes. Yeah. 